Hi and welcome to the WordPress workspace. In this tutorial guide I'm going to show you how you can add a MailChimp sign up bar to your sidebar. And as you can see we already have one here in on the WordPress workspace blog. So what you'll need is your MailChimp login details and you'll need to install the Genesis eNews widget. So head on over to your dashboard Go to Plugins, click Add New, and in your search plugins, type in Genesis eNews. Once that pops up, there'll be an Install Now button, so you'll want to click that and activate it. As you can see, I've already got it on the blog. Okay, so once that is activated, we're going to head on over to MailChimp and go to your lists. Okay, whichever one you want, you'll click on that. Okay, and then you'll click on Sign Up. Okay, and once you're there, we'll click on the embedded forms. Okay, and we're just going to choose um, a naked form. Any form actually is fine. What we'll want is the code here. So we're going to copy this code. Okay, um, you can't specifically copy one part in MailChimp, unfortunately. So what I'm looking for is just this code here that I'm highlighting. But when I highlight it, it copies everything. So we're just going to copy um, all this code here and we're going to um, put this code in a visual editor or on a notepad or in Word, whatever you feel you need just so you can copy that specific part. So I'm just going to do that quickly. So we've pasted that into just a visual editor um, and basically the only reason I'm doing this is like I said before is you can you have to copy everything you can't just copy the section that I want okay so let's head back to our dashboard and go to appearance and go to widget and because we've installed the Genesis eNews plugin we'll now have a Genesis eNews extended here so I'm going to add that at the bottom here so just click and drag it and we're going to start filling in the boxes. So the title is a test subscribe and this is the text before it and we don't need any text after it so we're just going to leave it. Okay so the Google feed burner ID we just leave that deactivated um, and this is the form action. So we're going to go back to our text editor and copy the highlighted part so basically it's action equals inverted commas, inverted commas, and we are going to paste that in. Okay, then we're going to type in the email field and the name field, and if you're taking in a last name. And there we go, we don't need to change anything else, and we're going to check save. Then we're going to head on over to our blog click refresh, have a look, and there we go. There's our test box. Okay, so let's have a check if it actually works. Okay, and there we go. It works. Okay, obviously it doesn't work because I'm already subscribed, but I'm sure if I used a different email address, it would work. Um, if you don't want the name and the surname there, we'll head back to the widget. And basically what we'll do is we'll just take out that first name field and the last name field and we'll click save refresh and there we go and that's it done very simple if you like this tutorial guide and would like more like this head on over to the wpworkspace.com thank you